So we've talked about window aspect ratio. Let's talk about pixel aspect ratio. And this one is a very interesting concept. When I started learning video, I always had a hard time understanding pixel aspect ratio. And you may have heard this. You may have heard the term rectangular pixel versus square pixels. And uh, for my life, it took me, I don't know how many months or years to understand this concept. Hopefully I can get it across to you in a way that, uh, that it makes sense. Uh, pixel aspect ratio, it's very much the same thing as, uh, or very similar rather, to window aspect ratio. It's a relationship between the width and the height of a pixel. Now for this uh, a demonstration, I took a photo of a traditional TV and uh, let me just zoom in to sort of uh, make my, my point across. As you can see, this text that appears on the screen is made out of, uh, you could say that it's made out of pixels. For those of you uh, video traditionalists, I know that you're saying that this is not, a uh, video on the TV is actually not made out of pixels, but uh, if you're not a traditionalist, uh, please bear with me. It, it makes a pretty interesting analogy. So what I'm saying here is that, uh, as you can see, this sort of, uh, again, kind of like pixels, they appear to be as pieces of rice. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. They're sort of a, a, a little bit longer or a little bit taller than that they're wide. So let's imagine that uh, in the case of a TV, pixels happen to be elongated on the height, kind of like this. Now, if we take a look at computer pixels, you're going to notice that computer pixels are perfectly square. And uh, let me see if I can prove my point trying to zoom in into um, the computer screen over here. Let me just see if I can engage this. No, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm completely zoomed in. And as you can see, the pixels that make up the computer screen are pretty much a collection of perfect squares. Just zoom back. So to drive this concept of uh, rectangular pixels versus square pixels, I've got another image over here. Let me just resize my window. That uh, tries to explain the concept. For this, you have to get your imagination flowing. Let's imagine that we're looking at a TV screen that has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And inside that TV, we have a perfect circle. Now, as I sort of explained with, uh, with the other photo before, we, we can tell, or we know, that pixels on the TV appear to be a little bit taller than that they are wide. So here's a question that I have for you. What would happen if we take this exact same video and uh, without changing anything except the shape of the pixels, what would happen to that video in ADS? Have you thought about it? Well, this is what would happen. If the only thing that we're changing is the shape of the pixels and we're keeping the same width and the same height, meaning the same number of pixels on the width and the same number of pixels on the height, in the case of a computer, the way this frame would appear, it would be kind of like this a little bit shorter on the height, but maintaining the same width. Let me just render that. And as you can see, this is what sometimes video appears to be on the computer. I'm saying sometimes because uh, now these days, uh, most of the software would actually compensate for that. Let me show you here. Let me just turn on this other piece of text. And, uh, and the way the software compensates is that it takes that image, just duplicate it. And when you're previewing or when you're editing, what the computer software tends to do is it tends to sort of redraw it back in the way it's supposed to appear on the final version. So for example, when you open up a QuickTime movie, let me just um, hide Photoshop for a sec, open up a QuickTime movie, you're going to notice that uh, uh, the QuickTime player let me just bring the info window over here. Actually resize this video from its original dimensions of 720 by 480 and displace it in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So in this case, the QuickTime player is actually uh, resizing, or, or let me just go back to Photoshop. It's presenting the video in this way. It's trying to replicate the way that same video would appear on the TV. 
even though its natural dimensions, if it was displayed with square pixels, would actually be a little bit uh, squished on the height. Now, the reason why this is important is uh, very similar to the concept of maintaining window aspect ratio. When you're resizing video, when you're compressing video, even though your source may have a specific uh, pixel aspect ratio, when it plays back, regardless if it plays back on a computer or on a TV, you want to make sure that, for example, in the case of the circle, the circle looks like a circle and not like an egg. And again, think of having people in there. If you were having people that were uh, appearing in a video that was compressed with a wrong aspect ratio or with a wrong pixel aspect ratio, then that people would appear fat. And again, most people don't like to appear fat. And again, most people don't like to appear fat or uh, for specific branding purposes, you don't want to take your client's logo, for example, and, uh, and change the aspect ratio of a logo.